You are watching Melody Lane With me you're gonna have a great crafting time Well hello everyone, it is Holly with Melody Lane Inspired And I was hoping to do a live but as you guys know My MacBook battery is not gonna make it so I was like, oh, I'll do a premiere. I can record in short little increments, then edit it. Yeah, two hours of charging got me two minutes of recording. And I went to edit everything this morning and they all freeze. All of my videos freeze and then jump ahead and freeze. But I wanted to get this card to you guys as soon as possible because I know people are busy, busy working on their cards, their holiday cards. And I wanted to make something that had some texture, but wasn't a whole bunch to put together because I know people are making multiple cards to send out. I wanted the machine to do most of the work. So, and we use some things from some different mystery boxes here. So this is the Cardinal card here. I used the foil transfer that came in the Thanksgiving mystery box for the silver. I took the piece and then cut it in half diagonal ways and put it down. Look at the foil transfer, guys. Turned out beautiful. Then for the back piece of the Cardinal there, the big silver circle, that is metallic poster board. It's hard to tell on here, but it matches like the foil perfectly. And then the glitter is glitter cardstock that was in our Thanksgiving mystery box. And I also used the Cricut wood veneer for another texture, which I just love. I love using real wood on like tree looking things. Don't mind his feet, his little feet, I glued them on wrong, so I have to recut those. Those were little pieces, but this is pretty easy to put together, which I love because especially when you're producing many of them, and then let's look on the inside here. And then on the inside, I used the Fiesta pen set that was also in the Thanksgiving mystery box. And I used that in the Kelly green and then the Scarlet red. I also made one more that says, may the spirit of Christmas always bring you love and joy. And then I leave the side over here blank so you can write your message. Uh, if you wanted to add, you could draw a, have a holly leaf drawn or a candy cane or something you can go ahead and attach that on that side so i did in the layers panel i went ahead and labeled the different materials i used so it'll label what's wood veneer the glitter cardstock and the metallic poster board that way you know which pieces now you don't have to use these materials if you don't have them you can go ahead and switch them out for whatever materials you have that you would like to use i wanted to make a card that the machine would do majority of the work. You didn't have a ton of things to put together. So the only thing you have to put together here are these few layers here that you just layer on top of one another. Now, if you do not have a foil transfer kit, that's okay. You can go ahead and do the same thing. I would use the silver metallic marker and then have the machine draw that for you. Now for the inside of the card, I actually made two different variations here. I first made the May the Spirit of the Season Always Bring You Love and Joy. And then I was like, mm, I want one that says May the Spirit of Christmas Always Bring You Love and Joy. So you can go ahead and choose which one you like. You can go ahead and hide the one that you don't want. That way it's not making both of them. But in this, I did use the Fiesta marker set that was in the Thanksgiving mystery box. So I used, and it was glitter gel. So these turn out glittery and they're super pretty. It's the Kelly Green and then the Scarlet Red. Now, if you did want to change, say you wanted to add your family name, I leave the other side blank so you can write messages on it. Some people want to put it on here. So if you do want to go ahead and say, add your family name here, you can go ahead and detach. All right, and it's all detached. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab these three. I'm going to group them together. Then you can go ahead and size it down if you want. Bring it up and then say you want to put love... And say bring that down then you're going to go up here and change it to pen and say i just want to leave it in black whatever color you want to do is fine then you're going to go ahead and make sure you choose each of those so i'm going to choose my group i'm going to choose love the clients and then go ahead and hit attach and then it's on the card there written for you maybe you want a completely different message on the inside of the card that is fine also you can go ahead and go ahead and edit this to whatever you want it to say now, when you go ahead and layer this for the back piece, you're going to put the metallic poster board down first. Then there is going to be here. It looks light gray. Now this piece is, they're all the same layer. This one just sticks out a little bit. So it's like snow. So you could do this one white if you want. So you do the white one, then you would go ahead, put the wood veneer on, and then you would stack your cardinal. So you'd put the black on, 
then the red, and then you can add the little beaks and the little feet, which they are little tiny, little, little tiny ones. And then you do add the little berries on. So there's a background for the berries so you know exactly where to stick them because the shapes behind it have it also. Oil transfer here, I actually put these on twice. So the same image, I just put right on top of each other and attached it. That way the foil transfer actually goes over it twice. That way if it misses anything, it has a second pass over it. So you will notice going over everything twice, that is correct. I took my little tiny pieces, the feet, the beak, and these little ones and put them in a folded little piece of paper just so they are all in a little area. That way you do not lose them because they are small and easy to lose. Now I wish I would have had red rhinestones. I have some coming, but they're not here yet because you could put those rhinestones on there and then the berries would be shiny and it'd be like a whole nother texture on there. And it would add some bling because you know, there's never too much bling in my eyes. I hope you guys enjoy this card. Soon enough, I'll have a new computer and then we will be able to do this on live and I can go over showing you all the different things like the foil transfer. If you haven't done foil transfer before, go ahead and look in our, our more videos on YouTube of us using the foil transfer kit. So I went ahead and put the file in our supporter files on our Melody Lane Patreon. That way you guys can go ahead and get access to this and start making it. But I love it. It's a very elegant looking classy card. Like I said, lots of different textures. You got the foil, you got glitter card stock, you got metallic poster board, you have the wood veneer. So I hope you guys enjoy this card. This is available in our supporter files. So if you guys have any questions, please just let me know. Thank you guys, we appreciate you, and happy crafting everyone. You guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving too. I know everybody's busy getting ready for that already, so we hope your holiday is filled with blessings. Bye everyone.